treatment in person. Ice cream is a go-to treat for a lot of kids, but one ice cream shop owner in Federal Way is doing things a little bit differently, using their unique process for making the ice cream to encourage kids to be excited about science. That one's mine. 55 flavors, Cheesecake. 35 mix-ins, and one giant science lesson just waiting to happen. All right, here is liquid nitrogen. Nitrogen is a big part of the way they make Sub-Zero ice cream. A fancy version of a treat that has excited kids for generations. Today, you guys get to be scientists. But it's also a big part of how owner Jack Walsh tries to get kids equally excited about the science behind it. Nitrogen boils at 321 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. This is the coldest stuff you've ever seen in your life. Just think minus three, two, one. You know, I mean, this is just a simple thing. This is just a very, very simple application of science. But for kids, that simple application of science is probably the best for them to see how science is applicable in the real world. The kids, if you'll pardon this terrible pun, eat it up. Yes. A hypothesis, that is right. What Jack asks the kids to guess or hypothesize what the liquid nitrogen pop, in that so bowl will do hypothesis. to the balloon. I see a few believers in the pop hypothesis. They have their hands over their ears. All right, we put it in. When things change from gas to liquid, they condense and get smaller. When things change from liquid to gas, they expand. They expand a whole, whole lot. To prove his point, Jack slides the balloon over a water bottle filled with nitrogen. Wow, that's getting super big. Did you know that balloons... <laughs> Sorry, I should have warned all of you at home about that too. Jack's demonstration uses everything from balloons okay. to roses. <laughs> and bowl after bowl of, you guessed it, nitrogen. Which Jack uses to show how it makes this ice cream so different. It freezes so fast, ice crystals don't have time to grow, and so it's smoother and creamier than other ice cream. It's all flashy and fun, but Jack's passion goes deeper than that. If they are excited about science and and enjoy it and see the fun side of it, some of the challenges won't be so challenging because they want to apply themselves more. And so it's it's a long-term benefit for the kids. And the short-term benefit. <laughs> sampling the ice cream the science produced. I have the perfect job. I get to make ice cream and play with liquid nitrogen. What more can I ask for? Well, there are several sub-zero ice creams all across the country, but Jack's dedication to connecting kids to the science behind it is unique to the Federal Way franchise. This is a really cool idea. How many of these science demos is he doing? Well, he does a lot. I don't have an exact number, but he does them so consistently. So he does them for schools, for example. You can also reserve a time slot for a smaller group of students right there at his store before he opens. And they cater events, so they can cater a birthday party. He's like, we can do it for kids or adults, but if they do a birthday party, he's like, we'll throw in the science for free. I love this because when you take real-life things in the world that kids can relate to, exactly. I feel like that's a lesson that they won't forget. Exactly, and they had so much fun doing it. They're like, science isn't so bad. Exactly, and then you can eat ice cream afterwards. Uh, and it's really good. Science I rules. I tested it. <laughs> Casey, thanks. So the holidays are right around the corner. It's